guys and welcome today's video is another edition of is it a dupe or just waste of money what we're going to be testing out trying out and playing around with today is the she glam desert palette that looks like this y'all this palette is only six dollars and do you guys know what it's a dupe for or supposed to be a dupe for if you guessed the huda beauty nude light palette you are correct this palette's going to run you about 29 dollars and you guys know I love to save some money. I love to save me some money. So I'm going to pop up. You guys take a wild guess. Which side do you think is the high end side? Which side do you think is the affordable side? We're going to guess. Wedding side is which side? Is it the affordable or is it the high end? Like I said, this palette is $6 up against a $29 palette. Make sure to come back at the end of the video and let me know whether or not you guys guessed correctly. And since we're on the topic of saving some money, y'all, I'm excited to talk about Dossier Perfume. I have partnered with them once again for this portion of the video to talk to you guys about saving some money on some perfumes. Now, you guys know for about a year now, I have been talking about Dossier and how I love to get luxury smelly good perfumes but yeah girls got champagne taste on a beer budget and if you do too you're gonna want to try this stuff out if you guys love scents like Tom Ford Joe Malone Gucci Chanel YSL definitely make sure to check out Dossier because they have inspired scents you guys starting at $29 you don't have to feel guilty for you know spraying two three spritzes and being like oh god there went 40 bucks no 40 bucks will get you a whole doggone bottle of this delicious stuff you guys know my favorite scent right now this bottle says Oriental Woody 7 they switched the name of it it's now called Gourmet, Gourmet White Flowers. It smells just like the YSL Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. You guys know how much I love this. I mean, you can see how much I love it, but I also like get like, mm, special occasion. And I tend to do that with all of my perfumes because when you spend like over a hundred and some odd dollars, it's like, I want to use it but like at the same time I don't want to you know go through it so one thing that I love about Dossier is I don't have that guilt that comes with the purchases of the high-end perfume so anyways it's not just for women there's also men's scents as well they have a array of men's clones unisex scents so definitely make sure to check them out they're cruelty free paraben free phthalate free they're crafted in france i mean you're getting amazing product and like i told you guys last time they've actually reformulated it so the scents last even longer in your hair on your clothes on your skin and always 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 the one thing that this is what sold me with dossier is the fact that in the box when you receive your perfume or your clone but you get a full size sample of the product so you can use it you can wear it you can see how the chemistry works with your body and all of that and if it's not for you it's not a big deal they have a wonderful return policy you just return it back no questions asked you get a full refund so one thing I will tell you guys these things sell out fast they constantly are coming out with new scents like I said Tom Ford is now coming Joe Malone is there I mean there's amazing scents there so definitely make sure to check out Dossier perfume and I will have their link down in my description box down below they have sales going on all the time like all the time so like I said it's been almost a year so you know if your girl's still talking about it it ends up in my favorites it is something that I absolutely love and like I said cruelty free developed in France luxury scents without the luxury price tag so thank you again dossier for partnering with me in that portion of the video I greatly appreciate it and like I said great holiday gifts guys stocking stuffers whether it be for your teens your mother your grandmother your husband or yourself definitely make sure to check it out because the more you buy the more of a coupon code you get <laughs> so that I absolutely love anyways guys let's go ahead and jump into is it a dupe or just a waste of money okay guys so before we get into the application process let's go ahead and do a little side-by-side -side comparison uh, this is the she glam desert palette and it is the nine pan palette this is the up close of it and as you guys can see on here there is the names which 
kind of surprised me. This palette is only $6 and of course there's normally a lot of coupons as far as that goes where you can save a little bit of extra money as far as that goes. So anyways, this is in the standard type of cardboard packaging. There is no mirror on here. To me, that's not a big deal. You've got the ingredients on the bag as well as this does have a 12 month expiration. As far as the amount that you do get in here, nine pans, it is 1.38 grams, 0.44 ounces. And like I said, let's do a side by side. We all know what the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette looks like. Nice little plastic casing. About uh, It's gonna run you about $29. This does have a mirror in here. And as far as the setup goes, you can see that fortunately they are set up in order and I do like the Huda Beauty palettes, the nine pan palettes. I think they work wonderfully. We're going to go ahead and put everything to the test. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and have you guys made your choice yet? Which side do you think is the high end? What side do you think is affordable? Make sure to come back. Let me know if you are correct. Okay guys, here are all of the swatches on the bottom. We have the Huda on top, the She Glam, and for the most part, they are pretty similar. Some of them may be off, but if they're off, they're not off by a whole lot. Okay guys, so on my winning side, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. We're gonna go in with this center to just set my entire lid. Okay, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and go in, sticking with the Huda Palette, and go in with this like peachy, really pretty like peachy shade. Um, I'm gonna put this on my lid and work it up to the crease. Okay, moving over to the She Glam Desert Palette. We're gonna do the exact same thing. And if you guys are new to Is It A Duper Just A Waste Of Money, what I do, I use the exact same brushes, but I do make sure to clean them off in between so there's no cross contamination or anything like that. So okay, we're gonna jump into this shade right here called Twilight, which is a simple like bone shade. And we're gonna apply that all over the lid. Okay, and then we're going to jump in to the next shade, which is called Camel. So right off the bat, I think if you want to be a little like nitpicky, you can see over here the She Glam has a little bit more of a warmer undertone as far as that goes to the Huda. So the Huda is definitely more of a cool tone peach where this one has a little bit more warmth to it okay jumping back over to the huda side i'm going to go ahead and right in the crease i'm going to go in with this purple shade this mauvey type of purple and then from there sticking with the huda i'm going to go in with this deeper shade right here Keeping that in the outer portion. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, jump over to the She Glam Desert Palette, do the exact same thing. So we're gonna go in with the shade, can't pronounce, right here, which is the Muted Mauve, and then deepen up the outer corner with this really pretty dark shade called Casablanca. Okay, so again, I think we're kind of running into the same situation where the Huda side definitely has more of those cool undertones where the She Glam has more of that warmth to it. So I definitely feel like, to me, I think it's kind of noticeable. I don't know how the camera is picking up on it. Let's go in with this really, no, let's just go in with this shade right here. Um, this is called Desert Sage. Oh my golly geez, that is gorgeous. Go in with the same shade with our finger. Okay guys, so I'm going to hop off. I'm going to add some mascara and some liners and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I am back with my finished look. By the way, if you guys are curious about what is on my lips, this has been my actual go-to. It is my Drug Cosmetics lip uh, pencil in the shade sugar, sugar and Spice. And then the Persona Cosmetics, this is in a Honey Gloss, which I haven't been able to find this. I actually got this in a Boxy Charm. I think it was in my Boxy Luxe. Um, but I can tell you guys, if you are interested and you like this look, if you pick up the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Gloss, 
This is pretty doggone similar. Oops, there we go. This is pretty similar as far as that goes. So um, if you guys are interested, like I said, you can't find the Persona Cosmetics. I will link the nude lip gloss for you guys from Gerard Cosmetics because like I said, I've been struggling to find this like on Ulta and stuff. So anywho, that is what is on my lips. That has been like my little go-to concoction. Let's talk about these palettes right here, guys. So as you guys can see the finished look let me pop up and of course the wedding side is the huda beauty side and the she glam side is on my my right hand i'm not for sure which side that is for you guys but as we see i think that we were able to pull it off but if you really kind of have a conversation people like face to face with someone which I don't really think anybody's doing that nowadays <laughs> right now but I think you may be able to see a bit of a difference so with that being said is this a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette I'm gonna say no however what I will say is it is close in similarities um it was a good palette i did like the way it performed as far as that goes now keep in mind this is a six dollar palette you know and with that being said i think and i feel like for six dollars these were good shades and i think you're going to be able to create beautiful looks as you guys see here now i will say that some of the mattes you did have to build up more than others. Again, I don't think that's a big deal. We're looking at this palette, six bucks, and a lot of the times, Shein has like 10% off coupon codes with your order over a certain amount. Um, but as far as that goes, I think this is a good palette. I would not mind receiving this as a gift. I wouldn't mind this as a stocking stuffer. But as far as being a spot on comparable dupe, I can't necessarily say it's a spot on dupe. But I think you will be happy with the product. Now, keep in mind, I've actually had this on for a couple hours now. I do have to, I did have to do some running around and Lord Jesus help me, my son is now driving and he was driving in like darn near tears and it still held up. So I think that as far as that goes, it holds up well, blends out nicely. There is some kick up or kick back, whatever that's called. That to me is never a big deal um, because in the end, everything worked well and I did, I was able to create a beautiful look so that is my thoughts on that do I think it's a bad palette no would I recommend this palette yes I think that you know for the price you're getting good stuff so anyways guys I do want to give a big shout out once again to Dossier for partnering with me in today's video like I said guys this is a great way to grow your perfume collection without spending an arm and a leg and a left kidney and not having to feel guilty and using your perfume as like a okay only for a special occasion type of scent you don't have to feel guilty about it because you're getting this for $29.39 dollars all under 40 bucks we love that we love a good deal so anyways guys definitely make sure to check dossier out I will have them linked down below they always have sales going on and these would make great gifts for your teens for your husband for your girlfriend for your wife whatever it may be I definitely 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 hands down recommend dossier so anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to give your girl a big thumbs up stick around subscribe it's free it's a way you can uh, help this channel grow I'm also over on Instagram and I'm trying to get that swipey up 10k so please make sure to give me a follow over there there is currently a 30k giveaway going on on our channel I will leave a video link down below you do have to go over to that video to enter into the 30k giveaway if you are curious about my sweater it's another Madison and Mallory sweater which was actually sold out so I'll link it and hopefully it's back in stock stock and you guys can go pick it up anyways I'm hopping off for now until next time as always I hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from Kentucky Mwah. bye guys